Hello ladies and gentlemen. In the last days I have tried to share a bit of how I go about making music from the perspective of interpreting a piece. But let's look now at the whole thing from another angle. What is the act of making music? When you're playing a concert, what is going on? Well, what you're doing as a musician is filling a period of time and space with sound. And it is up to you which sounds you use and how you put them together in order to create something meaningful or memorable or beautiful. The composer is not there. His part is that he has given you an idea of a rough sequence of what you could do that might work. That's the composition. And most of the time you can trust it. So what if you engage more with the situation at hand rather than with making the best out of the guidance that someone else, who is not present there, left for you. Is there perhaps something that you feel in the atmosphere which compels you to send a certain sound into the space? I would like to share with you one such moment that I personally experienced in a rather unforgettable way. It was a recital in Tokyo and I played the sixth partita of Bach and I got to this uh, innocent ending of the air and that silent transition into the next movement, which anyway is one of the most amazing sublime moments in music to live through that I know. And in this next movement, uh, the Saraband, I felt that there came to be an incredible tension in the air. Perhaps it was only possible because of the silence and the attentiveness that characterized the Tokyo audience. At that point, I knew I had to let the atmosphere make the music in my stead, as it were. It told me clearly and intensely when and how to play the next note, what shape to give the next wave.
Is this how I think this particular piece by Bach should be played? No. But it was how I felt that that moment in that hall on that particular day in March wanted to be filled. And that can also be what music making is about. There's interpreting a piece in the sense of you're saying honestly, in my view, this is what this piece is trying to say. And then there's what happens when a piece inspires you to say something you think is worthwhile to say in the moment. I absolutely do not wish to imply that one is good and one is bad. If there's one thing that music really does not need, it's dogmatism. All I'm saying is that in my musical experience, there have been both of these things. If only for that, I'm looking forward to playing concerts again. <laughs>